got Jimmy Nye. It's Jimmy. Oh, I said Jimmy No. Oh, no. I'm tripping. Jimmy Nye. Is that right? Jimmy Nye. Something like that. Ah, man, my hand like this. Sorry. Jimmy Nye. What's good? Besides my handwriting. <laughs> Peace, y'all. This is for my Gemini Sun Moon Rising Signs. My North Node Gemini folk. <coughs> right? What does June offer for you? Right? What we got in the store for my Gemis? My Geminis. Mm, okay. Gab two chas. Pops out. Like, hey, get two chops. Bugs are out here, y'all. But they ain't getting on me. Just that, that one spider that, was, that wanted to hang around in the Taurus reading. Alright, we got get two chops. Harukahuti, ten chops. Okay, get two, Harukahuti, ten. Get two chas Rupi Tem Chas Right <clears throat> Get two Harupi Tem Alright hmm. Okay some things going on Get finances um you know, perhaps there is a circumstance of some income that you are not gung ho about grabbing. You know, Haruki Tim, you know, can represent a lack of initiative. Right? So there's some money on the table that you gotta go get. And, you know, perhaps this is a, you know, a job, and you know, perhaps somebody needs to be, you know, uh, looking towards their job situation, or something like that, right? Let's talk to the king, see if we can hone it in. Straight. 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 Straight, straight, straight. Chien, on the bottom. Straight. Straight. Straight, chien on top. Okay, straight, straight, straight. Hexagram number one. Look at the spider on the devil card. Reverse. See that spider on the devil in reverse? It's talking. It's talking. I should have left it there. The devil in reverse. All right. Um, yeah, we was just about to do an E King. I mean, uh, the Tarot, right? So, we ain't gonna take this devil. We gonna just note this devil, right? We got a devil in the reverse <laughs> that the spider was on. Maybe we should, yeah, we gonna take this. That's, that's too much of an omen, right? The spider crawled on the devil in the reverse, right? So, we gonna hold that, right, to the side as we shuffle. Got the one hexagram, the first hexagram. It's a powerful hexagram. <laughs> Ten of Cups. Screed up. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. And Knight of Cups on the bottom. Okay. Okay, so, you know. Off top, it doesn't seem to connect to that devil, but, you know, everybody's situation is different. Ten of Cups is, you know, family, happiness, success, this is wish fulfillment as well, <clears throat> you know, Knight of Cups, right, Cups is in the house over there, is this about a job or is this about a relationship, you know, maybe for some it's going to resonate this way, others that way, okay, Six of Pentacles in the reverse, Oh, someone is giving or not giving what they're receiving, right? Oh, 
Are you sure this is... Yeah, the devil in the reverse. So, okay, so the devil in the reverse is letting go of addictions, letting go of bad habits, letting go of toxicity. Right, we said the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Cups, Knight of Cups. Where's my trusty? Ten of C's, Knight of C's. But the devil in reverse was crowning the reading, right? The bill and the R. All right, so this is someone, right? And we have the Haruk the Temp. So you got Geb tendencies, right? Okay. Hmm, okay, I'm getting some stuff. So Geb and Haruk the together can be a very toxic mix if, you know, Haruk the is not on his you know, uh, most positive. You know what I'm saying? If that Haruka Huti, if that Haruka Huti is Tem, then this person is mean. You know what I mean? A mean individual. You know, someone who lacks compassion. You know, Haruka Huti is the enforcement of the law. So when someone is Haruki Tem, they're looking to break the law. Could be the laws of relationship. Could be the laws of, you know, society. Could be the laws of you know, what we've established between each other type of thing, you know, and we get in front of that, they're going to be motivated by the lower aspects, right, there's going to be something low motivating you to be mean, possibly, right, the one, the hexagram one, that's someone who is, who has the power to do, someone who is in a position of power, who has the energy power, right, uh, this is someone who has the power to do and you know just like in the 34th hexagram where there is a, a, a high level of qian right power right anytime that qian is high in the circumstance then that person is going to have to uh, ask if he's doing the right thing right because he's going to be powerful he's not going to stop to say you know he's he going to be like you know I can do this let me just go ahead and go do this rather than ask should he do this is this something proper to do? You know, so this is a such, you know, many times in that one, you just got the power, so you do. You ain't asking nobody. Just talking about, I'm going to do this thing over here because I want to do it. You know, but that could be something that disenfranchises someone else. So, you take it how it resonates. Right? And, you know, again, this is going into the Ten of Cups, right? So we got family concerns. We have happiness concerns, right? Fulfilling happiness, right? And it was the nine of cu uh, knight of cups, right? Right. So you're gonna be, you know, you, this isn't. This is actually a pretty good circumstance because you got that devil in reverse, right? Perhaps you have a tendency to want to do something, you know, but maybe you will ask if it's right this time. Maybe you will stop to consider whether or not you're considering other people's uh, you know, input or uh, consequences to what it is that you are looking to do, you know. With the devil in reverse, you are, you know, now addressing that thing in you that wants to be a devil, right? Whatever it is that wants to be a devil, you're saying, all right, hold on, let me put the pause on that, right, in the reverse, right? And you got a ten of cups, right, you're making an offer. You got the one, right? This is success right here. You got the gab, two, right? That's money, possibly. Could be money, could be negative emotions. You got to decide. How's this going to resonate with you, right? Could be a money situation that you, you know, maybe approaching from a Haruka Huti Tem aspect, you know? Um, you know, yeah, it could, it could be a situation where you ain't going for the dough that you need to. That's a possibility, that Tem. Or it could be, you know, you going for the dough, you mean about it. Maybe you, <laughs> right, with the one, right, <clears throat> maybe you just going for that dough and you ain't caring about what somebody talking about. Devil in the R. Devil in the R. You got to watch that. Tendency. There's a tendency for you to act in a Haruka Huti way, a mean way. 
be a mean, you know, you can have a mean streak. You know, so this devil is saying to calm yourself, calm down that mean streak, and deal with compassion. Be compassionate. Right? You can succeed. But you gotta do something different than this Haruka Huti and this devil. That's the reading, Jiminis. That's the reading. Right? I hope I didn't cut off that last part. I'm going to say it again. So, you have the opportunity to do something different with your Haruka Huti. Right? Devil in reverse. Reverse this meanness. Right? Or in this entitledness. Maybe this narcissisticness. Right? Reverse this and you can have this Ten of Cups. The one is success. Right? Knight of Cups, your offer will be received. Right? Or you'll be accepting an offer. Right? And you can get some money. Right? Alright, so that's the reading. And we're going to say peace and love. And we're going to see y'all next time, Jaminis.